recently discovered Department of Labor government website discloses site exposure matrices for plant workers and the different buildings and contaminants including chemicals and radioactive elements that were present at various DEEOIC covered sites. To access this website, go to sem.dol.gov slash expanded. When you go here, just scroll down and find your site. And in the case of Huntington, West Virginia, we'll scroll down to the R's and go to Reduction Pilot Plant and click on that. Here, we will receive information on the toxic substances which go over 400 listed toxic substances at the Huntington Reduction Pilot Plant in Huntington, West Virginia. It discloses toxic substance information, the disease and health effects, site history, and much more. Now, let's research the site history for the Huntington Pilot Plant. Just click on Site History, and we'll see here that there are various aliases for the Reduction Pilot Plant. We have HPP, Huntington Pilot Plant, IPP, Pilot Plant, and RPP. It went by a few different names. Amongst one of them, we see Inco which is the International Nickel Company. Of course, Huntington Alloys, and then during the D&D, the Cleveland Wrecking Company. For now, let's focus on INCO. According to a Department of Energy document entitled Independent Investigation of the Portsmouth Gaseous Diffusion Plant, Volume 1, Past Environment, Safety, and Health Practices from May of 2000, we see the Department of Energy admit, quote, The plant, originally located in Huntington, West Virginia, was built in 1952 and operated for Department of Energy by International Nickel Company Incorporated, also known as INCO. It produced nickel to support Ports, which is the Portsmouth Gaseous Diffusion Plant, Paducah Gaseous Diffusion Plant, and Oak Ridge. According to SC&A, who is a technical support contractor for the CDC over the Special Exposure Cohort at the site, the nickel powder was used to make gaseous diffusion barriers for the gaseous diffusion plants in Paducah, Kentucky and Portsmouth, Ohio. But in 1956, the facility began using contaminated feed material, nickel with low enriched uranium and fuel reprocessing contaminants. But where could these radioactive contaminants have come from? Beginning in 1956, nickel scrap was received at the Huntington plant that was contaminated and previously used from the gaseous diffusion plants. Among the over 400 toxic substances at the Huntington Pilot Plant, there were radioactive substances and we know now where they came from. Among the radioactive substances present at Huntington are plutonium and of course uranium and uranium compound urea formaldehyde. Also present, neptunium as well as other transuranics and contaminants. So if you live in Huntington or you worked out at the Huntington plant, go to the sem.dol.gov slash expanded website and search for all the details including the toxic substances, work environments, all the details you need to know. The site exposure matrix of the Huntington Pilot Plant, also known as Inco.